Hey guys, how are you doing? Apple yesterday released iOS 15.3.1 for iPhone and iPad users. In this episode, we will quickly see what are the contents of this update and they also released watchOS 8.4.2 for comparable Apple watch models and macOS Monterey 12.2.1 update for Mac computers. We will see the details of why this update, you know, uh, Apple have pushed after uh, just two weeks before they have released iOS 15.3 and all other updates with plenty of bug fixes and security fixes that are you know to be considered as high risk so it is important to update to iOS 15.3 if you are using iPhone or iPad right now Apple have released all these updates for iPhone iPad Apple watch Mac computers fixing one critical high security risk update once again related to the WebKit, the Safari WebKit, and this security problem is currently an active exploit which means that it could possibly be used by criminal to infect and take control of Apple devices. So it is important to update and particularly for Mac computers it is very mandatory to update immediately and this update also brings a fix for Bluetooth connected devices uh, you know causing heavy battery drain for MacBook computers when they are idle or when they are in sleep mode. So it is important for Mac users to update immediately and for when it comes to iPhone and iPad you know it is kind of a minor update so it is not going to bring any changes to your battery performance or anything and my personal suggestion is like if you are using earlier versions if you have any battery related problems or apps crash related issues i have already published some troubleshooting steps with the ios 15.3 follow-up video i'll leave a link to that video in the uh, first comment also in the description you can visit that video and if there are any issues i recommend you to update this 15.3.1 by connecting your iphone or ipad to the computer and launching itunes if you have a good wi-fi broadband connection then you can update through wi-fi but only if you have any bugs that is not fixed with the previous update you can try updating it through itunes that will always help thank you for watching we'll see you in the next video with some useful tips have a wonderful day